Oh man, back to puppets. I love puppets. We're going to the sea foam islands to explore the cave and find the magic. The magical puppet. Whoa. Whoa, I know that theme. Hmm, that theme sounds very familiar. I wonder where I've heard it before. Hmm. Oh, right. I'm down here. Wait, where's down here? Am I lost? Oh, I'm, I am lost. Okay. Black choker, that's the focus sash. It's uh, usually a post game item, the original. All right, we're back to wandering around. Not an ice type, by the way, water type. It's kind of weird how the ice types are just water types, but the other puppet games do try to make, they did try to make ice types. And there was like five puppets who were ice types. You had Cherno, Letty, Mai, You May Me. I don't know why You May Me, but You May Me. Oh, skill card. A lot of stuff down here, huh? Now, there's probably a super rare puppet in here, of course. So, we'll look for her. You may be being an ice type is weird. It doesn't make any sense. That's all. Ah, see? See, 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 see? See, what did I tell ya? What did I tell ya, mate? Randomly keep goody in here. Moon's Reflection doesn't work here. That's Mirror Coat. So this should be fine. Very good. Most of the... Most of the Zun's music collection tracks, I find barely count as remixes. There's like two that I can think of at the top of my head that are... In fact... Okay, that loops back around. That are like very noticeably different. Uh, that one, Reincarnation, is one of them. And the other one is Retrospective. And the Patchy Mix. Now... You could say, uh, but streamer, what about, what about, uh... What about Necrofantasia? What about Necrofantasy? Those songs are barely mixed. It's more, it's more so that they have changes to have, give them proper openings and endings. That's really what it is. That's how I feel. Like, they're not- the song themselves aren't really different, but they've been given added effects to improve on them. But most of the quote-unquote mixes to songs barely sound any different from the original. And I'm not the only one who thinks that. Did you know? Back when uh, all that music got on Google Play, there was a period of time where RightScale just started copyright claiming everything. And I got copyright, uh, I got content matched to UNO and was her. And it said it was because it was from the Dolls in Pseudo Paradise. And I was like, what? And I, I looked it up and I was like, yeah, oh yeah, that track is on the album and it's a different pitch. But, uh, well, <laughs> RightScale didn't know that, nor did they care. <laughs> nor did the YouTube system. Nobody gave a fuck. So any song that was on that al like those albums for a while was just getting hit by right scale because they sounded similar enough, which just goes to show that nobody actually thinks that these tracks sound any different from each other. But what do I know? And I swear it was on a, a majority of them. I like you can tell you can see when things get copyright claimed. They get content match. You can see it in the description most of the time. But they've since kind of stopped doing that. Every now and again, I get one that comes like after the fact because I guess someone's bored. At, uh, someone's bored of their internship and they're just looking to do something. I couldn't tell you exactly why they do it, but uh, it doesn't happen as often. It does happen with all the fighting game OSTs, though. Fighting game OSTs more so than anything else. It's always retroactively too. That's the annoying part. Everything's fine, and then like a month later, it's like, um, by the way. And at that point, it's like I don't fucking care, man. I don't care. 
That video's not generating revenue anymore. Why do you care? Well, there's so many rocks in the water, dude. This place is fucked up. Look at this. This is the Seafoam Islands, all right. Oh, look, it's Kikuri. Okay, that makes perfect sense, because considering that's the one I found, and, you know. Oh, man. And there she is again. All right, something tells me I've seen everything I need to see in here, in terms of wild puppets, so. Probably pop or repel. There we go. There's some TMs and stuff in here. I gotta, I gotta be pretty thorough. I gotta be thorough. There's a couple places to check. This should take me to her, though. Oh, yeah. No. It's probably a faster way back. Yeah, okay, so that's probably... I saw one skill card in the ice maze. This should be her. Alright. I guess we toxic and see what happens. Gow. What? Hmm. Hmm. She's come out of the moon. Well, this is fine. And now we start spamming great balls. This is what Kikuri would look like if she was, you know, actually not, like, in the moon. I don't know what just happened. No secondary effects and types don't interact. Wow. Whatever you just did is a crazy-ass move. She's got recover. Okay, good thing I got poison on her then. Why is she naked? Because wouldn't you be if you were trapped in a moon? Did you have time to find clothes? It's not like anything's shown. It's like a mannequin, dude. Relax. Keep your brain... Keep your brain on... on... passive, alright? She's probably very large. Kikuri is like a bronze disc. Pure energy. Oh, well, we didn't want that. Alright, I'm gonna try the Ultra Ball. Fuck. She is the moon. She may be the moon to you, but to me, she's the light of my life. The moon can be bright. You think she have any, like, idea what's going on around here? Do you think if you said anything, she would actually respond? Or do you think she's moon? Think about it like this, chat. So Kikuri is a hell moon, right? She's a moon of hell. That's what we've come to believe about the character. Right? So this is what we all have come to agree upon. So that means that the moons of hell have sentience, yeah? Then let's think about uh, how Junko's son was shot down. Was Junko's son a sun or a moon? I'm pretty sure he was a sun, right? Like literally a sun? Or he was a moon. I'm, he was one of the two. I actually can't remember now. That means that he was, like, alive. Which means Kikuri is kind of similar to, uh, to Junko's kid. So celestial bodies can, in fact, be this, I suppose. I don't know how else to explain it, you know? I don't know how else to explain it to you. He was a disc. A hot one, too. 
take over. These motherfuckers sure don't like to stay in the ball. Alright. At least I found one Ultra Ball. I got it. Damn it. I mean, we, we'll, we personify everything. Persona! Why do you think every we refer to inanimate objects as cheese all the time? Boats, automobiles, planes, all this stuff. She's still got it. The old girl's working tirelessly. That's just what we do. And then, surprise, motherfucker, your boat turns into an anime girl. You should treat your objects under the assumption that once, uh, once a certain amount of time passes, they become pretty human women. That's how you should treat your objects. Sakumo gummies, boys. I treated it just well and it just turned into a fucking pot with hairy legs. Yeah? Well, maybe you should have treated it better. It's like in Digimon World. When you train your Digimon, if you train them too excessively, they evolve into Numon. And then they eat their poop. They poop on the floor and they eat it. It's great. It's fantastic. So you have to train them just right so you don't, you don't, uh, they don't turn into fucking Numemon. That's all. Treat your objects just right. Lest they come back and stab you. Man, you love picking your attack moves, don't you? Sooner or later, this will work. Damn it. I get one more turn. This is it. Great ball, go! Yeah! Got her. Moon is right. There's no point for this. And I got the gold coin. Puppet, drop the gem. Alright. Uh, I'd like to use Shinsho so you can come back to life. There might not have been a point to that, admittedly. Because we're not quite done here yet. Hmm. We're not quite done here yet. There's a, there was at least two more. There's at least two more things. Clear steam mulch, okay. There's at least two more uh, items to find. So I wanna get those. Okay, well, there's that. Moon powder again. All right. I think I have enough to trade for the rations now at this point. Okay, another item. We'll max revive, okay. Skill card 37. Now, I'm not done yet, though, because there was... There was another skill card in a little ice maze that I missed, so we're gonna check that out. Also, haven't checked over here yet, either. Oh, it's the other entrance. That makes sense. Okay, there's one more skill card I'm missing. Not this way. It's up here. I remember where I saw it, but I don't know how to reach it, per se. Hmm. Up, over, and around. Bring it around town. Uh. Good one, streamer. Now, down there is incorrect. There we go. Just gotta give me a second. Okay, so... It's down here. Did I check down here? No, I didn't. Good thing I did. Okay, another skill card acquired. That wasn't the one I was thinking, though. So I think it's this way, since... I don't see any... Yeah, it's probably this way. Listen to the Gussie. 
The Gushy Gussy. Treat your umbrella well and you might have your own Gussy one day. Hmm? How does that information not, like, fill you with such powerful effect? Okay, I'm lost. Alright, I'm not really lost anymore, but now I just need to get out of here. I didn't miss something by not going north, right? Oh god, now I have to check. Your own personal Gussie. Hmm? Oh, I can't even get out. I can't get out this way. Hmm. There's no, uh... Escape rope option is there Hmm Oh well, that's fine No escape rope no problem. I'm gonna believe I found everything in here. I don't really want to check the last little bit anyway How am I supposed to live for 100 years anyway? Well, the answer is simple. Just, uh, wait for the marvels of modern medicine. And then, baba booey. Live forever, you say? Alright, where are we going now? Um... We can go to Saffron now. Just thinking. Just thinking. Let me check. So the Super Rod in the Ocean gives you Junko. What about Super Rod here? Ooter me. Okay. Because there's, uh, there's areas of Wagasaki, Nitori, Hina, Iku. They seem to have their own encounter. Junko's jumped into the fucking ocean. Okay. I can get leftovers here right quick. You bring me three, I'll give you food rations. Hey, my big bro will be so happy. Always glad to help, citizen. Okay, we're heading north. We're heading to Saffroni. Saffroni. Give him the scarlet tea. I didn't read the description. An old tea, where they still taste great. Oh, right, I did read that because of the word slake. Nobody's going through. Wait, so that tea you got there? I clicked your pass. You gave me that tea. Good, good. Move on. Sweet, sweet tea. Wait, it's grown cold. Yeah, dumbass. Jed! Ah. Hum. Hi, Jed. What are you doing here? Follow me, alright? Alright, I suppose I should explain. Yes, we didn't want you to come here. You see, we know that the Okazaki Company headquarters are currently controlled by Team Rocket. Prepared for intervention, we hid that information and restricted access to the city. Members of the International Police are currently gathering around Saffron, waiting for orders. As for why we didn't tell you this before, well... We didn't want you to rush in and make them scatter! Exactly. Now, Jun, listen to me. You must not deal with Team Rocket yourself. If we succeed in our operation, we'll be able to catch many of their members. Just wait for us to deal with this. Do you understand? No, I didn't quite hear what you said. Do you understand? No, no. No, 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 no. No, I need gym badge. Then they wait, I need gym badge. No. Perfect. I trust you to be responsible, Jun. Lady Yukari would be quite disappointed otherwise. Alright, I will not engage in nefarious behavior. No trouble. Where have you taken me? Hey, John, the guards let you through too. They were too busy with their tea. Talk about good security. Anyway, you'll never guess what I saw. Team Rocket, Okazaki Coast, full of them. So I've been thinking, how about we compete to see which of us can defeat most of them? No. What? Lame. Don't lie, I know you want to. Not like anyone will take care of them in our stead anyway. Well, I'll see you there. I know you'll show up. What a fucker. I just, I just told Ron no, and then and rank, I'm, I'm peer pressure, man. I can't take this peer pressure! 
My girl who lives here loves to mimic people. She's so good at it, it almost looks like she can read your mind. Caw caw. <laughs> Hi, do you like puppets? Uh, no, I just asked you, huh? You're strange. Quit mimicking, but that's my favorite hobby. Need a black choker? Here, you can take mine. Thanks, my Rin lost her somewhere. Here, you can take that. No, I- no, I- Thanks for the skill card. You're welcome. Did you take my choker? No, you didn't. Okay. Meow. Skills. Skills. It's nuzzle. Okay. Hmm. Gravity blast. Uh. Uh. Huh. Recollection. Copies all the foe's attributes. Alright. Goodbye. Alrighty. Looks like I'm gonna be... Moon this town feels weird for some reason. Big self co building. I saw weird people in Okazuki Co. It's true! Oh, that's why. What's going on with the checkpoints? They usually let people through. Thank you for writing. I hope to see you soon. Hey, don't look at my letter. Copycat is cute, but she's quite creepy. Who's the copycat? It's the girl in the south part of Saffron. That's the psychic's house, though. Who the fuck is in the actual copycat's house? What? What? Oh, they're building a magnet train? We're building a train station here. It'll link the city to Johto. Bua? Why? Bua? Why you say? Why you say it like that? Wait, where's the north entrance? What the fuck is going on here? It's the Myoden Temple. People come here to train and achieve enlightenment. Oh, I see. The north entrance is missing. Oh, there it is. And there's the mart all the fuck way over yonder. Bwah! What do you got? Anything? Just more great balls. Well, that's just great, Ed. Hi, kid. I'm looking for food rations. I give you a star draw doll in exchange. So you want to trade? That's a life orb. Yeah. Yeah, I will trade. You don't have any food rations. Okay, I traded my leftovers for a life orb. Probably a better trade in the long run. Ah, that's cute. Okay. All right, all right. Are you here to train? You got a rat! Nazarin. I can defeat Nazarin. What is a wolf if not just a bigger rat? <laughs> Speed, Niazrin. Don't you just love this goofy little lass? Oh, great. We're playing this game. Oh, never mind. The game has ceased to be played. Oh, how I love video games. We're almost at level 70. This is Gym 6, by the way. We're going on to Gym 6. You must speak to Biakon if you want to join the temple. Hello! Hi! You shouldn't shout at Kyoko. You need, to, you need to shout from a respectable distance to get the point across. I can't scream. Sound type. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know what sound is weak against. I don't know what sound is good against. I think it's weak to electric, and I think it's good against fighting. And heavy emphasis on think. Man, oh man. Oh man, oh man. 
That reminded me, chat. I still need to get the DLC for New World. Ouch! Train with us, Namu-san. Hmm. I think she has fighting type moves. Which would be a problem. Let's do this. I don't actually know what's in the New World DLC. Uh, but it, it exists, so I should probably check it out. Though there was that one guy who was very upset of the way I played the game. He, he, uh, he wrote a... He wrote a whole paragraph about how I, when I played the game, instead of focusing on the game, I was talking about God knows what. And to be fair, he's right. I was. But there's a good reason for that. It's because sometimes I'd be stuck on a map for like 12 minutes and there would be nothing even remotely interesting happening. You're good. Why do I feel like if I leave, they're all gonna want to rebattle me? Hmm. Our bond with puppets brings us closer to enlightenment. I'll show you. Hmm. Showy! What is it he said? I don't remember exactly what he said. But he was very upset that the that I was talking about not the game for every chance I got. But if you've seen that game, you understand why it's hard to talk about the game every every opportunity that it provides. Because there are some games, like what we're doing right now, where you can't really commentate every single thing that happens. I'm dead, because you have fire moves. If you've ever watched Vincent Vinesauce, then you know there are some times where he plays games that are uh, definitely easy to call podcast games. They're the kind of games that he's playing, but he's mostly just talking about whatever the fuck. There are games like that. Those are the games that really test your ability to just talk, I suppose. I hope this works. It's not like you don't pay attention to the game or anything like that, but it's, it's what I'm saying is... Oh, so close. I see your bonds are quite strong as well. It's like you can only say so much about the specific game before it's like, you know... You're just repeating yourself, so you find other topics of conversation. And I kinda I kinda dig that idea anyway, that environmenty. In the sense that it's like it really it just feels like you're playing you're hanging out, playing video games. You know? Welcome, this is double we train alongside puppets to reach enlightenment. We train with us. Hmm. You go and find the comment. Oh, he's got five of them. This would have been much easier to watch if Aspie actually considered playing the game instead of leaving it paused and talking about some random stuff with chat half of the time. That just sounds like every visual novel game I've played. <laughs> That's called me getting distracted and then not advancing the text. And that happens all the time. That did not do enough, and now I'm just going to break my skull. Food rations. Hmm. Were you weak to this? You are, but it didn't do that much more. Ow. Please be quiet. I'm watching the game. Okay, I'll, I'll be quiet. If I could just burn her. That was an interesting choice of move. Ah. It's okay, because we're going to crit. Damn it. My skull! Hey, if fire's neutral, that's all I needed to see. I'm going to blow up. All I needed to see. 
but that's what happens. That's just that's just kind of what happens. It's like sometimes the the dialogue like it's it's not always that I stop and talk about something completely random. I'd say nine times out of ten, the reason I stop is because I'm talking about something relevant to the current situation, adding more context, asking questions, giving some more info, stuff like that. It's not like I just take my hands off the controller and just start talking about God knows what, right? Surely I don't do that, right? Oh, well, there we go, level 70. How strong, oh, that woodcutter doll. Are you a friend of Marasa? You must be trustworthy then. I have something to ask you. I believe traveling this would help this puppet grow. Could you take her alongside you? You got a hijiri. Okay. A nickname? Yes. Your nickname is... Byakuren. Please do come back anytime. Yeah, okay. I'll think about it. Well, there is one option right now. It's going to Silphco. So we'll do it. You think all a streamer does is complain? You'd be wrong. But you wouldn't be far from the truth. But you'd still be wrong. Now you have Leech Seed, right? Reprimand, revenge, there's Leech Seed. Shocking wave. Shocks the foe. So they can't dodge anymore. Whole bean, explosion, root frog. <laughs> okay. Yeah, power whip. So drain seeds a 70 for you, huh? Makes sense because you are Pharaoh Thorn. Hmm. There's no one here. Maybe I'll sneak a peek upstairs. Wait. No kids are allowed in here. Are you guys gonna want to rebattle me if I win? Is that is that what you're gonna do? Because if it is, then this is not gonna be very fun. I'd have to test that theory. Yeah, yeah. Oh, goodness. Chat, let me tell you a story. It's called, Streamer didn't eat supper, so he could be on time. So now he sits here, supperless. And now he's starting to feel the repercussions of not doing that. How unfortunate. If only I could go have supper right now. Hmm. Absorb your energy. Hmm. No O-coing, okay? I have more burgers. Why am I dead? I don't know what any of their types are. This is the one that causes flinching. Annoying ass. Hmm. I have burgers with I'm gonna put sriracha on it and I'm gonna put and I'm gonna put I'm gonna put QP mayo on it. And I'm gonna put I'm gonna put cheese on it. And the burgers got seasoning cooked into it. And I got a bun, and I'm going to eat it, and it's going to be very good. Hmm. I wish I could make myself spaghetti right now, or maybe some Alfredo pasta. Unfortunately, I can't do that. It is not going to happen. Ah, uh, look at that big suck. Hit him with that big gulp energy. 
Yeah, yeah. Okay. That mayo is not cheap, by the way, but it's good. It's good mayo. It's that Japanese stuff. They love that shit. You ever had mayo on broccoli before? I haven't, and I probably won't. But I was talking to my friend about it. He's Japanese. He was like, yeah, kids love broccoli because they can put the QP mayo on it. And I was like, oh, is that so? Mayo on broccoli? That's kind of weird. Oh, weak steel. Three gold coins, damn. Diamond shaped tiles, teleport blocks, transporters for their high tech building. All right, I'm a little interested in knowing if they're gonna, they're, I mean, it's not their base, right? So surely they won't be able to just heal up. Hmm. I like broccoli, man. I think broccoli's fine. Granted, broccoli that hasn't been like steamed is kind of whatever, but we, uh, I just like steamed broccoli because it's like biting into water. It's juicy. Sometimes my mom would put cheese over the top of it, which honestly was worse than just the steamed broccoli, but it was still fine. All right. We're going to get some stuff in here. Oh. Hey, kid, what are you wanting around here for? Well, I feel like I should probably go get the card key right now and then explore the floors because if I have to rebattle all you assholes, then it's gonna be a bit of a pain in the ass. But it's fine. Hmm. I wasn't paying attention. Now I'm dead. Well, easy come, easy go. Just click buttons until something hits them. That's all I got. Probably should have expected that one, but this is still whatever. Doesn't matter. I might just get up and go make those burgers right now. It'll take me like three minutes. I will be missing for three minutes and I'll come back with burgers and I will be a satisfied customer. Now you're talking about food and you're making me hungry. You understand what you're doing? All right, chat. I'm gonna get out of my seat in five T minutes and I will come back with burgies. But streamer, what about the VOD watchers? The VOD watchers can skip and you guys can sit around the campfire and tell stories to each other. That sounds like fun, doesn't it? I'll come back with some burgies. And we'll all have a good time. Streamer will eat his food. And he'll be prepared to take on the rest of his day. Doesn't that sound like a good idea to you? Ouch. I am fine with this outcome. Ouch. Okay, but what vegetables can you eat with mayo anyway? Can you can you have uh can you have carrots with mayo? Hmm? Cosmic Eco will stay associated with Team Rocket. Purgatory flicker. Flare Blitz. And it's stronger because uh, it loses the burn chance. So, it's, yeah, it's just Flare Blitz, dude. Rocky Barrage. Thorned Ivy. Spiky Shield's not bad to have. Hmm. Just thinking. And, and Yawn. Is that really the only move she learned? I guess. I mean, Flare Blitz is a great move. Maybe it needs a card's key. 
Okay, well, we're gonna get the cards key. Alright. Use it in place of ranch? I guess so. You put mayo on a burger? Yeah, you do that. A lot of people do that. Didn't I, didn't I tell you I was gonna do that in any way? I put the mayo on with the sriracha because the sriracha is hot, but the mayo is, like, not hot. So you get the flavor of the sriracha and the heat is quelled by the mayonnaise. It's a very good combination. I thought it was weird at first, because I was like, this is a weird combination. But turns out that is actually a pretty great combo. They work really well together. What do you want? How's the progress here? Wait, who are you? Are you in my way? Could you please get out of it? Power. Hmm. I bought hot sriracha, because it was the only bottle left. Ow. You know, Mc, 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 uh, McDonough's was selling its, um... It was selling its Big Gamaku sauce as, uh, in stores, and I've had it, and it certainly tastes like... It certainly tastes like, uh, burger sauce. That's all I got. Mmm. I'm gonna take all that back now. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Put ketchup on the top bun and mayo on the bottom. It's simple and yummy burger. Oh, I put sriracha and mayo both under the burger and on top of the burger. So then when I squeeze the burger and I bite into it, it leaks orange. Because the combination of the mayo and the sriracha makes orange. Because it's red and white. And it's like, mmm, that's yummy looking sauce. I'm being con infinite what? If I beat you, will you get the fuck out of my way? What do you say? Huh? You are so lucky. You are so fucking lucky. That's all you are. It's all you've ever been. It's all you ever will be. Ketchup is just something. Hey, I'm moving? No, I don't think I will. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Alright, well, we're gonna have to find our way up to the seventh floor through warp tiles. I don't remember what those tiles are. Hmm. Guess I'll just check every one of them. Now I'm on floor five, okay. You're gonna be in my way, aren't you? Yeah, of course you are. I knew you would be. I did it at floor seven. What? Gold talisman. I am definitely not where I'm supposed to be right now. <laughs> this is supposed to be what you need the key card for. Never mind. Never mind. I'm not battling them, man. They're all fucking annoying. All of them. Every single one of them is annoying as shit. This is the right floor, isn't it? What? Oh, boy. Ah, fucker! I was tasked to watch over this warp tile. Sounds like I'm in the right spot then, huh? This is hell. This is hell on earth. Uh, I think you were weak to steal. 
After this battle, chat. After this battle. I'm gonna go acquire my food. I'm so ready for them, Bergy. Well, goodbye. Let me tell you, I cannot wait for the summer to end. We've only just begun it. This is the extra one. With the fire type move. Okay. Bye. Hmm. Explosions. I think you're fire electric, which means nothing. So I'm just gonna click this button. Summer haters? Well, yes, I do hate sweating. I'm sure this is a good decision. Yeah, see? Why did that confuse me? What? Okay. When August ends, the temperature tends to drop. You're gonna click a... Uh... You're gonna click raid. Why do you go to the gym then, Bozo? I go in the morning before it gets really hot. My gym days are 10.30 a.m. And they usually go to 12.30 p.m. Great. Thanks, Reimu. You did your country proud today. just too nice. That's all. It's just too nice. The fall weather, I look forward to it. Every single one of these things is an asshole. You better not be faster than me. If only I took the time to learn. Really, nothing important here, really. Are you the intruder the rockets are talking about? I beg you, you must help us. This car key will open the doors to the building. Oh! Thank you! I'm gonna get rid of all of them, just for you. Please rescue our president. Okay. Let me just figure out how to do that. All right, chat, enjoy the music. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I, I'm just gonna get myself some, some burgies and I, I need to eat because I'm hungry. In the meantime, enjoy this picture for the next three minutes. I will be back. FOD watchers skip to when you see me open the menu, I guess.
I'm back! And if these aren't the nicest looking burgers that you can't see. Oh man. How long was I gone, chat? Did you enjoy your conversation with each other? I am one of the four rocket sisters. Arisu. No! What? That's not good. If you can't enjoy the company of the other chat members, then what are you gonna do? Sounds to me like you're fucked. I'm gonna bite my burger now. Mmm. Mmm, melt the cheese. Melty cheese. QP mayo. Hot sriracha. So good. One of the chatters hates cheese on burgers. Why though? tell you something. Cheese on burger is fine. It's not a deal breaker. But if I ever order out and get a burger, I will just get a regular burger. Why? Because it's like 50 cents for cheese. And when I say cheese, I mean the pit of, just a pitiful looking slice. Thrown on top of your burger for 50 cents. You can't even taste that shit. Why would I spend 50 cents on that? Do you know some people spend money on... What do you call it? The hell are you? What are they, sesame seeds? Fifty cents Lamau? Motherfucker, that shit adds up. That shit adds up. And like I said, I don't even taste the fucking cheese. It's probably easier to explore everything here once you knock out a Nima. I'm on floor 10, right? Now I'm on floor 10. Hmm. Madam President, get down. Yeah, I gotta find the warp panel that takes us to the president's office. Motherfucker, I've been in here. Oh. 36. The bun has been torn to shreds. They don't want you back in if you beat Mima. What? What? But then how do you get the skill card? How do you get the items out? There's a skill card in there. You telling me that's missable? That seems like a bad decision. More stuff. Oh, you need to move. I am one of the four rocket sisters. <clears throat> Those are doubles. Can you have multiple copies of them? They're yet reusable. God. Let me tell you, chat. Reusable TMs were such a good decision. Fuck. 
Hold on. <clears throat> One burger from Spoon. Okay. Would you like to hear a streamer hot take? The kind of opinion that would make you upset that you were ever here? Okay, here is streamer opinion. So, I think that unlimited TMs were a good decision because teaching moves to certain Pokemon is like impossible. And especially if you want to do anything competitively, getting multiple copies of a, of a strong TM is a massive time investment. That said, that said, I think that reusable TMs are a little bit of a negative for a story playthrough. Because you can just, if you get a really good TM, you can just give that move to everybody who can learn it. You don't even have to think about it. Just give it to everybody who can use the cool move. What could go wrong? Hmm. I'll leave you up to my sisters. Now, it's not like Pokemon games are like, you know. Okay, wow, okay, she just has shit, man. She's a hitting people. <laughs> Flare Blitz. Hmm. Cool. Yeah, you get access to a really good move, you just give it to everybody. You just give it to everybody and you don't really have to think about, like, uh, move sets. But again, Pokemon's not really hard to begin with. So, it's like a non-issue. I wonder if Okazuki is finished. Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> It's pretty much a non-issue. But it's kind of like, uh... It does make me think of, uh... Like the EXP share, in a way. Okay. That's all. You, it's really dangerous for you. Came to save me? You can't! But that's why our superpower gloves. But that's why um, I think Gen 8 actually did it really well. So the way Gen 8 does it is there's TMs, but the TMs are for shitty moves. They're reusable, but they're all shitty. And then you have TRs, which are good moves that are one-time use. I think that was a good decision. And then they didn't do it again in Scarlet and Violet. You can make TMs with materials. Why am I dying, Squirtle? This is good. Hmm. Uh. Fireball. Whatever. Gen 8 is far from perfect. You don't need me to tell you why Gen 8 
why Gen 8 is problem, but... <clears throat> I do think from a story playthrough perspective that TRs were a good idea because you needed to get materials and you had to kind of dedicate time to get the move. I like the convenience of everything. Hell, even this game... I'm talking about the, ma the, the, the main game, not the, the mod I'm playing. But they have infinite TMs, but they structure it kind of nicely because a lot of the TMs you find just aren't that good at the beginning. And you get access to the more like, I want to build this po uh, puppet like this type of moves much later in the game. But it all costs money. You need money. That's the important part here is the money. Any damage. You can buy the all the javelin TMs uh, about halfway through the game. You cannot buy the hidden power TMs until uh, until the end of the main story because you can't buy them until Pandemonium. Doesn't matter. My sisters will repay the favor. Did that? Okay, I'm gonna go back and heal real quick. Four ten. Gotta be careful. Don't activate any fights that I don't want to deal with. Chat, did you, uh... Just gonna ask in case you forgot, but did you know that Stunfisk had a Generation 8 form? Because I actually forgot about that until right now, when I remember that Stunfisk has a Generation 8 form. Why? He turns into like a bear trap. Why he do that? Oh. Heavy concentration of sriracha in that fight. My puppet is my loyal servant. Oh god. Ah. Ah. Heart. You know who I thought was a cool Pokemon? Center Scorch. It was a flaming centipede. That was awesome. Ayana. You're a new one. I think I heard nature. Power whip. Ah. We good boys. <clears throat> we good. Burgers consumed. Streamer. Fed. Nourished. Living his best. Ugh. I'm gonna switch. I think Gen 8 has some pretty fine Pokemon. I liked, um... What's his name? Really inspiring confidence now, Chatter. Uh, streamer. I'll inspire confidence. Come here. I forgot its name. Oh, oh no. The doors are electronically locked. It takes a car key to open the door from here. How does it? I wish I remembered. Um. 
This is gonna bother me all day now. Phalanx? I like Phalanx. Dense Barrage. Just Boom Burst. Macro Burst. Hurricane, but not. Earthen Feast. Hydro Pump. Hmm. Alright. The only way in here is through teleportation. Or six. I'm not gonna leave the building. I'm just trying to scope everything out. You're not gonna move, are you? They made me stick, but cringe. What are you talking about? You remember Orb Beetle? Because I certainly don't. Indeedy. Oh, yeah. Well, Indeedy's supposed to be like a butler or something. I don't remember the details on that Pokemon. Because why would I? Oh! Do you remember when, um... Do you, uh, do you remember when Pokemon Company did that 24-hour... <clears throat> they did that 24-hour, oh, let's look in the forest and see what lives here event. And people just sat there and looked at the forest. For 24 hours. And then at the end of the stream... The Galarian Ponyta walked by. It was like, whoa! What was that about, hmm? Wasn't that interesting? I think Impidip was revealed in that as well. Why did I click the electric move when I know you're an electric type? That was a stupid gimmick. What, are you talking about what I'm talking about? Or are you still going on about your own shit? He hates Indeedee. Funny how Pokemon like that only really end up relevant because they have a, uh, a weather or terrain setting ability. That's all it is. The mega stream with nothing happening. Yeah, it was a brilliant marketing decision. I wonder how much, uh, how much attention it actually got. But there was nothing in it. They pushed the most, like, important thing to the end, so you could just come back at the end. If they just had that shit happen in the middle, like, if they spaced it out, it would be much cooler. Just every couple hours. I better tell the boss on floor 11. Oh, okay. Don't mind me, I'm just, uh, I'm just robbing. Work for Okazuki Co., what am I to do? So I will either follow 76 the Overwatch Christmas log stream. Overwatch? Overwatch? That's what I was talking about. Overwatch! Retreat manual. Oath thread. Retreat manual sounds like it's guaranteed escape. Like a smoke ball. Skill card 8. Can't you see him hiding? Okay. So guys, when's Overwatch 3? Ha ha ha. Am I right, guys? Right? Of course. I'm gonna be real with ya. The decision to make every Rocket Grunt rebattle you when you leave it's a good way to make the player never want to battle any trainer. Now, a lot of people will go out of their way to go and beat up everyone in the building. But if you make them have to do it again every single time, holy shit. Got better things to do. The Vault Boy Plus showed up 23 hours into the stream. I don't believe you.
I don't believe you. This is actually the first time hearing of this happening, just in case you were wondering. I didn't know that Fallout 76 did a stream like that. Speaking of things that Bethesda has dropped the ball on, how's uh how's that Starfield gate uh, treating you? <clears throat> Anyone still playing Starfield? Hmm? Any Starfielders? Chat? Maybe. Hmm? Did any of you actually play that game to begin with? They were really excited for that one, and then it came out, and it was, uh, certainly, certainly a game. <laughs> but it was like... But it was gonna be like, the next, it was gonna be the next big open world RPG, like the Elder Scrolls VI. Which, by the way, has been known about for like, about seven years now, I think. <clears throat> New Fallout game from the makers of Oblivion and Fallout 3. I don't know, I watched Vinny play a little bit of it. Kazuki Ko will stay associated with Team Rocket. Add the users and foes current HP and set both to half of that. Pain split. Memento. Harris song. Okay, I guess gunshot. Cosmic power. <clears throat> hey, Paris song's actually pretty funny. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. Ninety-nine. I don't I don't really do open world anymore. I never really did. I get sick of them really fast. Okay. I think that's the warp panel I need to use on floor three. So we're gonna navigate around here and get back up to the bed. Ah, I forgot your range. To be honest, I was sick of open world. Uh, I got sick of open world right from Breath of the Wild. It's like, how do I explain it? You give me a lot of things to do, but at the same time, you've actually given me nothing to do. You're an electric type. What am I doing? I almost killed you, though. Like, wow, you can go anywhere. Okay, but is there anything worth seeing? But you can go anywhere. If I run straight in this direction, what will I come across until I reach a landmark? You can go anywhere. Okay. All right. So, if I head from point A to point B, what can I expect to see? We got Koroks. Like Koroks? No. No, actually, I don't like Koroks. Oh. There might be, um... Might be a shrine. You like shrines? Okay, maybe. Maybe I like shrines. What kind of shrines are we talking? Oh, you know. Do a little puzzle. A little puzzle shrine. Get one-fourth of a heart container. Okay. Anything else? Well, um, you like enemies? No, no, I don't. Oh, uh, um, that's a shame. Why? Why is that a shame? Well, you know, it's just because we had like, we put a couple skull caves, a couple skull caves, 
some, you know, a treasure chest, five, uh, five white Boca blends that take, like, two minutes each to kill. You know, I just thought maybe you'd like to do that as you explore more. Why are you putting the white Boca blends so early in the game? Oh, no, no, I meant the blue ones. You can deal with the white ones later when you're super bored of exploring. That way, when you explore all that's left, you'll be stuck in the same spot over and over again. <clears throat> oh, man. Is there fun stuff to do? Is there fun? Have you really ever thought about how much fun you're having? Because I did. I played Genshin. Did you know? Did you know? Thugs talk about the building. Their boss seems to know ours. I played Genshin for about a week. And I got really, really bored. Because Genshin is really, really boring. Yet, it is currently one of the most successful video games of all time. <clears throat> it's an impressive, impressive feat, is it not? I played, I ran around the empty world, I found dungeons that the game said I was not going to be able to do because DPS. And sure enough, they were right, my DPS was not high enough. But here's the thing, chat. You know how you get EXP in that game? You get things and you consume them for EXP points. You also get EXP for exploring the world. How much EXP do you get for exploring the world? Not enough to warrant exploring the world. Leveling up through actually playing the game is not advised. What really killed it for me, the last, uh... <clears throat> What really killed it for me, the last draw that made me go, I'm not playing this fucking game anymore, was when I ran into a time trial challenge that was like, beat the enemies in this amount of time. And I was like, okay. And that's when I realized that it was all just one big DPS check. Didn't, strategy doesn't matter. Didn't matter how well I played. It was just, did you did you pull enough on the gacha? Is your care enough strong, character strong enough? No? All right, well, I guess you don't win the challenge. I beat up a boss for like 15 minutes and I got a couple drops and I was like, wow, I can tell that this is incentivized for you to power up to a point where you can just farm it because that's what all those games do. No, but streamer, you don't understand the character design. What about the character design? No, they're so good. The character's so good. Are they? What's what's good about them? Every guy There are two types of guys. There are pretty boys and there are twinks. Then you have normal women and children. Those are your character types. Cough, cough. Right? Team Rocket is an uproar over some intruder. That's you, isn't it? Isn't it? Ooh, that might be me. Alright. Now, I'm pretty sure me ho hu 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 released a new game recently because uh, one of the character designs has been all over the internet for me because I think she's like a shark girl maid or something I'm gonna be honest with you I don't fucking care I don't care even a little bit Zenny Liz Zone Liz Zero or whatever they also have Honkai they just they all look the same man they all look the same it's like the same characters in different universes Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Streamer, you're just a hater. I sure am. Holy fuck am I ever. 
Listen to me be hating. He hates everything, this guy. I can't believe him. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> I did beat you up. Okay. That game is making me eepy. Eepy game! Floor five. Floor six. Okay. I think this is the last floor I need to explore. Free stuff. Another choker. Nice. There's stuff in there. Alright. What is one of the most successful businesses in the world right now? Is the gacha game. Yeah, I don't know anything about the game at all. I'm not interested either. All I know is that one particular character has resonated with the world. And as a result, I have seen art of her all over the place. And I gotta say, it does absolutely nothing for me. Is it a gotcha game, or is it an actual game? That's my question. I can't switch out, because I'm infinitely darked. I mean, obviously it's a gotcha game. Obviously. It's MiHoYo. But I figured I'd ask, just in case it wasn't. Just in case it wasn't. I'll live. Hmm. She's a... She's a ghost. Well, I'll kill me before she can kill me. Never mind. She got me first. Hmm. It sucks to be pessimistic all the time. I'll tell you that. Sometimes it's hard not to be when the most successful video games in the market are ones like this. <clears throat> oh, that didn't work. I should try not to be. You're right. I should try to be... I should try to be more open. I think it's great that the games that continue to come out require you to spend real money to actively engage with them in any meaningful capacity. I think that's great. I also think it's great that it costs three times as much to live at the same time. It's good to know that that's where the money's going, right? The money's going to the pleasures so we can forget about the real world. And then we die. And then... Well, that's it. Goodbye. I'll see you in the next life, chat. I'll, 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 I'll see you under the maple tree. And I'll go... Hi. And you'll go... Hi. And together we will... Uh, part ways. I really thought that would do more. <clears throat> oh my Jesus. Well. Meet me under the cherry trees. I'll see you there when I'm dead and gone. man next to me is such a coward. Oh dear, oh dear, help me please. Your mother came and took over the building. Your mother is trying to conquer the world with puppets. Must have targeted Okazaki for our products. Ching, sparkle, sparkle. <clears throat> Send the problems away. I need to find my way back to the upper floor, if possible.
Well, actually, I just found the way forward, so we're going forward instead. I'll just use my patented status curing effects. Eat some jelly, Raymu. You'll feel better after you have some jelly. Everybody feels better after jelly. Alright. Warhammer Dwarfs are getting a release in two weeks, streamer. Where's my raise? I don't know. Where is it? There you are. So how many did you beat? So we tie. Well, there's only one way to settle this, right? Shouldn't I challenge you? We tied? I don't know if you were actually counting, sweetheart. Speed eye? I know that's funny. Hmm. Set in the trap. Should have multi hits. Alive? Well, that's fine. I heard bubbles. She might kill me. Full metal crash. I'm sure I'm fine. I'm not fine because you crit me! That was my strongest warrior. She's dead now. Alright. <clears throat> Sny. Windy Sny. I'm gonna crash directly into her and explode. You resisted that? Why? I'm fine. I'm doing it again. I'm gonna kill both of us. Yeah, come on, explode. Yeah, fuck you. And I get my free switch in. You're up, Alice. Oh, ho, ho! Is that so? Speed, Marissa. Thunderbolt. This is the best matchup. Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh, statistically speaking, I'm dead. Crit didn't matter. with Raymond because Raymond would probably kill it better. Don't even need the stealth trap. I got nothing to beat that. She's gonna fuck me up. It's fine. Speed I uh it's not power, Aya. That's all I can say about it. 
Extra Reimu. She certainly is a Reimu. Good for her. Ah, but you see. It's okay. best way to deal with this asshole. Hit it with a drain seed. She can only cast Thunderbolt. I'll just scope her out. Hmm. Oh, yes. She's just gonna keep casting Thunderbolt and I'm just gonna keep juicing her. Doesn't do that much. This is Miji's game. All of it comes back to me, boys. I don't get half of it, I get all of it. Oh! Oh, this is Miji's game! Oh, ho, ho, ho. More! Chunky! You know, Speedmaris is actually a very good puppet for dealing with Power Aya. Because she's faster than Power Aya. It can hit her super effectively and instant kill her. That Sanai is so powerful. Well, let's, let's throw some seeds on her. It's fine. And let the scum show begin! Yes! Hmm. Oh, 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 oh. Give me the Nitori. Give me her. Yes. I am going to crush her. Full Metal Crash? How much does this do without a crit? Holy shit! Never mind, that killed me dead. That killed me dead without the crit. I'm gonna take all that back now. Hey, I healed. Okay, I'm above 120. So I, I survive another one. See? We're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Miji is doing it. This is what Miji does. She stands in front of everybody and does not die. But streamer, the levels, that's not my fault. I promise you that's not my fault. Power, Alice. I might die here. Good job, Miji. You deserve a rest. Let me show you my Alice. Alice on Alice. Mine's better. Uh, mine's not better. Never mind. That, that, that move's not a dark move. I think it's an illusion move. I'm not sure. Bad Moon is dark. Moon's bow, though? Not dark? What was our last? Oh, that's... Huh. That might be a little bad. Alright. You wanna play a game? Let's play a game, you little rodent. I'm gonna sing you a song. You now have three turns to beat me. Can you do it? Can you do it? Oh, 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 oh. 
Two turns to beat me. Cool. You have one turn to beat me. Can you do it? It is simply impossible. Calamity has called upon Nazarin. Nazarin has died! Oh no. Again? Well, you'll be the one to take care of the boss, I suppose. While you're at it, I'll take the lead. Take the lead, what? No, heal me. You bitch, heal me. <laughs> I'm dying. I'll, I'm bleeding everywhere. Damn it. Now I have to use my own resources for this. I can't believe she'd do that to me. Well, at least two of them revived on their own, but now everybody's getting jelly. Get some jelly. Hmm, maybe not all of you need jelly. I got, um... I got, I got Dongo. I got rice crackers. You guys like rice crackers? All right. No Lapras guy. Where's my Lapras guy? Come on, you made me be reasonable. I am reasonable. Kazuki Ko is no longer associated with Team Rocket. Raising your voice will make me change my mind. No guard. No last ditch guard. No car key either. Oh. It's you, Jun. Don't you have anything to do other than mess with us? I say that, but my grunts are to blame for not getting rid of you, too. You're so persistent, it's almost cute! You remind me of my daughter. Speaking of, I can't let you make fun of us. She'd be disappointed. Against a child, I should still hold back a bit, but you've proved you don't need an advantage. I, Mima, the leader of Team Rocket, will fight you how a real puppeteer fights. What is that supposed to mean? Four? Oh no, she's gonna have a weird form of all these weirdos. Starving spirit. Ow. I have activated my trap card. Now I'm going to suck. I'll live. Activate chippy mode. Oh. Hmm. I do believe this calls for a hasty retreat. Goodbye. It's fine. And now we're going to take it all back. Mm, Glorp. I don't really know what to expect here. But when I get her down to her last, I can just sing a song. Gotta love those. Oh. Oh. I sure do love the sleeper cell uh, activation. Oh, you're the fire type one. Alright. I can say certain words and it just activates chat. Quite funny. Oh, that one's super effective. It barely did anything, but it's super effective. The Konga that I remember uh, was fi fighting steel. Hmm. Well, she's extremely resilient focus attack wise, but. She can't seem to kill me either, so... Fuck it. Maybe she's nether fire or something? That would make sense, because she's got those ghost legs. Even if she kills Alice, 
What she want? Her speed so low, no matter who I send and I win the follow up. Good job, Alice. You were a credit to the team today. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine, because that's the Perspet Attack one. I think. Oh god, I don't remember. Mima! Hit it with a priority move! Hey, that's good damage. Oh. Alright. That'll jam you. So you're slower. And I'm gonna send in Jun, and Jun's gonna knock off your leftovers. Or I send in Sagume. And I poison you. Let's do that. You have magic bounce? Uh oh. Now, how was I supposed to know that? Oh well. It's not that big a deal. Just have to not lose to her last one. I am gonna knock those off though. Firewall. Food ration's gone. Poltergeist. Doesn't matter, cause you're dead. The knockoff didn't really matter. Or maybe it did, just barely. You're weak to steal. Assuming that doesn't kill me. Kind of expecting it to. It, I'm just gonna send in. I'm just gonna send in. Uh, what's your name? I'm going to crash directly into you and watch us both die. See? Kaboom! <laughs> My favorite. Huge damage numbers. My little Darmanitan. Four wines. Interesting. Could we truly have grown weaker with time? Not just me, but the organization too. Hmm, thank you for this battle. You gave me a lot to think about. As a reward, we'll let Okazaki go. May we meet again. Thank you, child. You've just saved Okazaki Ko. Or perhaps I should introduce myself. I am Yumami, president of Okazaki Ko and Saffron Gym Leader. And you are... Jun? Oh, the professor's prodigy. Suppose you'd like to challenge our gym then. I'll go there. Feel free to challenge me anytime. Before that, have you met Rukoto? I'll tell her to give you a reward. You should talk to her. Follow me. I'll lead you to the entrance. Sorry, the higher floors aren't open to the public. Fucker. I have to go all the way back. Welcome. Oh, Ron's not going to be happy. Thanks for saving Okazaki with this puppet as a reward for you. You got a Rukoto. Wow. How exciting. La 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 la. Feel free to visit anytime. I thought she was gonna give me the power glove. Ron's gonna be pissed. Jun, what did I fucking tell you? You never listen, do you? Just a bit more time and we could've... Ugh. Honestly, it was stupid to expect you wouldn't do this, wasn't it? But I forgive you. The Saffron Gym is north of here. If you can deal with Team Rocket, you shouldn't struggle with that. After that... You only have two badges to claim, right? Well, you're quite close to the Puppet League. I wonder which of you three will arrive there first. I'll be waiting. Damn, she let that go so quickly. I hit her with them, them puppy dog eyes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean it! Maybe your operation should have acted faster and been outside the building when they fled. Dumbass. All right. Welcome, Challenger. 
You mainly specialize in light type puppets. Illusion type puppets work wonders against them. Dark type puppets also be a valuable asset, but they're weak to light skills themselves. Be careful if you plan to use one. Oh, bro, she's just alone. I guess there's no reason, considering the gym is basically Okazaki Corp. You're here! Thank you again for what you did against Team Rocket. As I said, I am Yumemi, the Saffron Gym Leader. I specialize in light-type puppets. Without further ado, shall we? Okay. Hejiri. Oh! She's a punching type! No! 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 I am not trying to get punched! Ow. That's the recoil move. I'm dead! I'm sure this is fine. Um, well, if she's the type that punches, perhaps I just need to hit her really fucking hard. This is my favorite plan. Never fails. It never fails to work. Watch. Darmanitan, go! Fantastic job. Sny. Light something. I don't care. I'm going to crash into you too. Never mind. Never mind. Blow from Calamity. Neutral. And now the game can begin. Neutral. <laughs> I'm gonna suck. Here it comes, the big slurpee. Oh, that's not good. Slurp! Mmm, yummy delicious! This is the kind of situation I wish I had protect for. Could have switched, preserved Miji. Also, I could have let Leech Seed. I would have got more from Leech Seed finish. You made me. Not scared. Not scared. <sighs> this is what it feels like to be scum. Brilliant. So brilliant. Pulse laser. Ow. Oh. Well, okay. Guess she was desperate. And now Miji's back up. Hey, you're a water type, aren't you? No, you're light electric because... Yeah, I just saw the electricity. Too easy, man. Too easy. This is Miji's job. Got nothing for it, man. Nothing. Congratulations to my streamer. The greatest player to ever play the game. Hmm. Look at that. Owie. As expected from someone who can challenge Team Rocket. Well then, this is your reward. Gleam Badge. I wouldn't give this to a normal trainer, but since you helped us, here's a special reward. The Super Power Glove! That's a Super Power Glove. It's one of our new products, not even released yet. But you get to have one earlier. This glove will allow you to break rocks in your path. You should be able to access many new places with this. I should go back to the office. I wish you good luck. Okay, bye! 
Alright, I can now crush. Where am I gonna crush first? I'll show you. It's back to the farm again. You saw oath threads yet? It yes. Hold it. One silver coin. Hmm. <sighs> 23 gold coins. I don't even know where all those came from. Alright. I'm here to buy Ultra Balls. 20 of them things. Some more of those, please. More of those. More of those. Did I buy more Morias? Good. Okay, alright. First thing, Lavender. Lavender. You guys want to go desecrate a gravesite? I know I do. Let's go do that! Oh boy. <laughs> I swear, man, Maribel's journal? That shit just unlocked. It unlocked everything. 300 might be a bit excessive. I'm gonna climb all the way up anyway. Which way is it? Hmm. Maybe 300 will be just enough. There's also in Mountain Moon. But this one feels like it'll probably be a lot quicker. To go through. What an old tombstone. Looks fragile. Yeah, let's fucking break it. Yes. Smash the shit out of it! Well. So much for that dream. Guess we're going to Mount Mooney. Looks like 300 was the right call to make after all. No. I'll deal with it. There's nothing on this floor anyway. Hmm. I just don't understand why it wouldn't let me crush them. I know where there are some crushable rocks, though. In Mount Mooney. Hey, Sega. If you claim all eight badges, I'll give you a nice reward. Okay. Gleam. We're heading to Mount Mooney. We got rocks to break in there. All kinds of rocks. Here we go. Let's go have some fun. Who knows what could be hidden behind those rocks. Now I love when things like this exist. Makes you excited. Makes you want to come back. Explore the world that you left behind. Probably shouldn't have used the 300 one again. Whatever. But down all the little paths. These things. Yeah. Yeah. There's no reason to. After all, why shouldn't I, though? I heard water effects again. Oh, wait. This is the end. Yeah. Oh, it's like a little network system. I see. Yes.
Hmm. Put that back on. Okay, this is the way forward. How does it connect to this? From here. What the fuck is over here then? What? The exit. Whoa, jeez. Okay. So is there a purpose to this? Kind of. Maybe not. I'm lost. No, because it's this way. The way with the water. This is when things are going to get weird. Alright, here we go. Now it's going to get weird. Oh. Secrets. Mount Moon crash site. Oh shit! The bunnies! <laughs> I see, I see. This is where they crashed. So this is where, uh, probably where I'll find the moon people. I bought Ultra Balls, yes. But those are for reserved targets. Uh, you think about how much money each one of these threads cost and how if one of them doesn't work, we just get rid of it. We just throw it away. Please do not do that again. There, good. <clears throat> All right, that's one moon person. Where's my aliens? What, there's somebody here. Why, why is there somebody here? This is supposed to be secret. You can only, you're only supposed to be able to get here if you had the glove. How did this guy get through here without the glove? Who does Bozo think he is? Now you know Yorihime and Toyohime are somewhere here. Why wouldn't they be? Ah, oh. 85. I'm gonna talk to him, don't worry. Maribel's never been here, her book would not have the informations. Hi, what are you doing here? Me? I was looking for moon powder. When I ended up here, I found a puppet I'd never seen before. It doesn't fit in, so... I don't think it's needed to mount moon. Maybe it's lost and you want it? I'll trade it for five moon powders. I... don't have five moon powders. How am I supposed to take his puppet without moon powders? I bet if I beat the shit out of Yorihime, I'll get some moon powder. She's gotta be here. We're gonna give this five more encounters before I disappear. That's what we'll do. Five more. And then we'll consult Maribel's book later. When she's like, Wow, look what you can find here, you dumb asshole. Maybe you should have looked a little bit harder. You're right. But when I read your book, rare puppets just start appearing for me for no real reason.
It's just all this rabbit. Two more. Two more. I'm gonna consume this one. Magical fragment. Last encounter. <laughs> Fine. Book mentions the passage existing, doesn't list the encounters. So that leads me to believe that race is probably the only thing here then. Goodbye. I'm leaving. No, the other guys are here? God damn it. Well. Alright, well. Buckle in then, fuckers. We have to find the two most uh, sought after puppets in my uh, alternate universe. Hey, there's one. There she is. One of the most boring characters ever conceived. I'm just looking at her and I'm oh, uh, yawning. Oh man. Oh. Oh, Crazy. Weaken. Heavy week. <laughs> oh. That's one. Hey, Chad, if somebody ever tells you that Toyohime is one of their favorite characters in the entire series, could you do me a massive favor and ask them why? Because that's the kind of information that I would like to have. Oh, you again. She's cute. But is she though? Is she though? Why are you here again? Go away! Should make a vid about it. About what? <laughs> about what? The hater video. All my videos are hater videos. You just don't pay attention to the dialogue. No, but there are lots of characters that I cannot even begin to imagine liking. So you gotta wonder. I asked Toro fans of unpopular characters why they like them. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. I'm gonna think about that. It doesn't matter if the character that I like differs from the character that you like. I've explained why I like my character. I've explained it many times. But that's what I'm asking for. I'm asking for an explanation. Why do you like that character so much? What is it about them that you think is so cool? Why do you like them so much? See, here's the thing. To have that question be posed and immediately you go on the defensive, what do you got to be defensive about, huh?
What do you have to be defensive about? If somebody asks you why you like a character, why would you get upset? Is it because you know you have no way of explaining it? Is it because you know that your character is a piece of shit? Hmm. You really like an unpopular character, you know why she's unpopular, but you still have your reasons to why she's your fave. It's a good question, brother. It's a good question. It's not meant to be offensive. It's not meant to attack people. It's meant to understand why you like a character so much. And then heavily judge. No, 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 no judgy. Heavy judging, but no judging. Heavy judging. Oh God, I'm gonna judge! I'm back in the mansion. Hmm. There are rocks to break. I have to free Remy from her prison. More uh, javelins. All the javelins are in here. Hmm. Two hundred is fine. Schizo posting. To warn out die, remember it was on Mount Silver, guided me. Gem, don't get it. Wanted me find it. Why sabotage now? It's related. The bulk linked to. The rest of the text is unreadable. Man, everything got fucked up down here, huh? Wow. Experiment failed, now I'm stuck here. Patchouli sent help for me, no worry. Fire broke out, puppet escaped, saw another puppet lab. Looked boss, the rest of the text is in I'm coming for you, Remy! I'll get you out of there, more jelly! I brought jelly, Remy, I'm coming! Saw it before where it wasn't book it, at the warehouse, neither Viridian, just where. Huh. I made it, I think. Huh? Who? Could you be a burglar? No. That's a relief. Many of those try to steal from this old mansion. Oh, I've picked up a lot of things, so who are you? Oh, the Yakimo. You must have come for our gym. This is the person you're looking for, then. Nice to meet ya. I'm the Cinnabar gym leader, Flandore. And this is my sister. I am Remilia Scarlet, member of the Elite Four. You may refer to me as the Queen of the Night. Just call her Remilia. Anyway, sorry for the delay. We regularly come here to clean and search for stuff. Why, you ask? Well, we used to live here, in the floors above, I mean. My friend Patrick was running experiments down here, but one day something went wrong. Thankfully, nobody was hurt, but we never learned what happened. That's why we come here looking for clues. Only thing we know is that... The problem started in this container. Patrick never told us what was in there. So we can't really know what went wrong until she spit, sadly. Oh, sorry. You didn't come for backstory, did ya? Meet me outside if you want to earn your badge. Why are you making that face? Be careful, my sister is quite strong. Well, not as strong as me. I'm not an Elite Four for nothing. If you manage to claim all eight badges, I'll wait for you the Inigo Plateau. I know you'll succeed. I have an eye for that. I'm gonna fucking lose because she says fire types and my ace... My ace Pokemon puppet is Momiji. Hmm. I am going to be in a world of trouble. How do I win? 
how do I win? I'm, I'm thinking about it right now. <laughs> Miji's gonna get fucking toasted. She's not gonna help. I will consider my options. I might have some coverage moves. Probably can beat her right now, though. Two gym badges and ones. So I come out. So oh, she's up there. Okay. All right, we need to think long and hard about this. Uh, okay. Float stones, nether, sword. Oh, did she's a uh, hit? Uh, no, she didn't yet. Probably really close though. Sound, cannot flinch, no crits, warped, straw doll. Okay. Hmm. Just, just so mean G gets one turn in there. Water javelin, nobody can learn it. Waterfall drop, nobody can learn it. She's a huck can learn it. No, because the rock, the stones are better. Lazy mists. That's no, that's drought. Toxic. Well, everybody can learn toxic. Why can you not learn toxic? The fuck, Raymo? You are toxic. What do you mean? All right, I have not much faith in this working, but we'll give it a shot. Omiji is here to set down one thing. Ah, oh, you're here at the gym? We don't have one. We'll fight in the open. Are you ready? No. Okay, I'm ready. Here, follow me. Careful, don't lose your footing. What? Alright, we're there. Are you ready? I won't hold back. Whoa, slow your roll. Are we over the volcano? Are we fighting over the volcano? Pacholti. Omiji's here for one reason. It's the throw down stealth trap. Yep. Thank you, Miji. You've done all I needed to do. You may now rest in peace. All right, Shizu, it's time for you to click spike stones and hope to God it kills everything. All right, that's good. Oh, the straw doll still goes through? Interesting. You're not the speed form, so you don't have instant win. It means you're probably dead to that. Oh. That's the, yeah, that's the recoil one. She's the fighting type one, I think. I would explain why it's neutral. Okay, it's not unwinnable. Rumia, dark fire.
Flash over is fine. Okay. Ha! You're alive? I had a feeling you would kill me before I killed you. Hmm. Speeding up. I can take that. No white herb either. That's not gonna kill me. We did it! Victory is mine! This background isn't exactly fitting, huh? Ah, congratulations, you've earned this. The burn badge. And I'll give you this. This skill card contains backdraft. Not extremely powerful, but it's reliable. Let's get down. Follow me. So, you have seven badges now, huh? Your next one should be bit. Huh? Is that Alice over there? Hi, Alice! What is she doing here? She's going to the Sevi Islands, of course, and I'm gonna go with her. I'm ready for a journey. After I heal, of course. To the islands with you! Hiya! Oh, Jun, what are you doing here? That badge, of course. Me, I'm here to take a boat and set the islands. One of my friends is waiting for me there. Have you ever heard of the isles? Located near the orange archipelago, far south of Kanto. You should come along. There may be puppets there. Here, follow me. Okay! Didn't even have to invite myself. Now this. That's the boat my friend sent for me. Let's get in. That was already here. One island. Here we are on one island. My friend works in the laboratory over there. Let's go. Who's your friend? Oh, it's you! Ah, Alice. Thank you for coming. And you are? Jun, I'll remember it. Oh, I'll remember you too. You unleashed hell into the world and you didn't even tell anyone. As long as you're quiet, you'll find a friend in me. Anyway, Alice, the reason I called you here. You know, fixing your tools again, right? Exactly. You see, the waters of the local spa have gotten way hotter recently. Worried the owner asked me to discover the cause. Before I could start studying, my tools stopped working. I tried to fix them myself, but I just couldn't. Sure, I'll help. Here, let me take a look. Wait a second. Jun, may I ask a favor? I promise to give one of my grimoires to a friend who lives on two island, but since I'm a bit busy, could you bring it to her? Her name is Ellen. Also, you need this pass to travel there. Try pass. And the old grimoire. A book for Ellen. I won't make you do this without giving you reward, though. My acolyte over there, Quackama, has developed a machine capable of bringing fossils back to life. If you have any, feel free to ask her. Of course, of course. I see, I see. Library. Hello, cohort. Hi, are you a friend of Lady Patchily? If yes, I can resurrect fossils for you. Alright, give me a second. I'll get to work right away. Thanks for waiting. The puppet here was a kitty Same. Take care of it. So this is a puppet. It's a new puppet, actually. Normally, it's a costume change. Eek! The weird energy radiating from this fossil it brings so many bad memories back to me. No way am I touching that! You'd have to be seriously wicked to think that it's a good idea. Yes. It's wicked! Come on. Come on, give me that, give me that. Sightseeing, are you? Isn't the warm climate great? 
the middle of an island smack in the middle of nowhere. The only famous place here is the Ember Spot, but the water's been too hot lately. Lucky to have an upstanding lady like Patchy Leader sorted out. I want to check out the Treasure Beach first. Lying back, rocked by the waves. This is exquisite! Just a little bit more. The Sevi Islands are nice. You know why they're nice? Because they're a break between Viridian and Cerulean. That is level 71. Okay. That's why it's nice. So instead of going right to Viridian from Blaine, you can come do this. I mean, the game is forcing me to do it anyway. And when you think about it, I kind of just went from Gym 6 immediately to Gym 7. Because I had to do the whole quote-unquote gym for Gym 7 to get into Gym 6. And then the Sylph Co. was there. So there was not much uh, difference between that. But it's probably better that... It's probably better that they have the break between Gym, gym 7 and 8 than Gym 6 and 7. Because I could do the Sevi Islands before Flandre. But then it's like, then what do I do before I head to Viridian, right? Good pacing here, basically. Extra Udemy. She's dark. I don't know what that means. Mountain Breaker. You know, I thought something felt familiar about this puppet. Something very familiar. Now I remember what it was. It was the last time I fought it. My ass got grasped by it in that exact matchup. You can resist light if you want. I have a thunder sword. Aqua rake. Oh. Okay. I. Okay. I seem to have remembered something about you as well now. I might lose. Ow. Well, shit, bro. Doesn't that just suck? I'm gonna stat up for this. Alright. Let's not take any risks here. No risks. It's just better this way. Now, I could have won. Yeah. I could have won. Oh, well. I almost got fucked up by this random Kappa floating in the water out here. Wow. See, it's pleasantly warm in these parts. Hey. I need a Pokemon Center. You're a stranger here. Hi, where'd you come from? Pal Town? I don't know it. This island is an enormous volcano. It hasn't erupted lately, so why not enjoy a hike? Okay. Maybe I should. Oh, there's gra there's puppets to find. First things first though. Treasure Beach. Old Rod. Tori. Okay. How about the super rod? Jinkos again? Oh, it's Mioi. It's a Whalmer! How about that? Oh, I need to buy more threads, damn it. We're gonna hold off, I think. We're gonna hold off on Treasure Beach. I don't got enough time for all this now. Too many puppets I gotta look for, man. 
I gotta read my book. Excellent timing. Hmm. Okay. Enough with the stop. We'll head back to the center. I was hoping I could do a little checking, but it's okay. We'll just go back and we'll deal with it all another time. Sunny days, I step up and gaze at the volcano. It's my daily routine. Let me think, when was the last time Mount Ember erupted? It's where Moltres is. Young people all want to go off to big cities, but I want to stay here forever. I like that character. I resonate with that character. Okay. Came here for the spa, but I've been told it's currently closed. All right, let's check out my streamer book. The book of all streamers captures. And call it a success. Raymond, Marissa. Once thought to have been a result of modern science, they are now known to have existed for thousands of years thanks to old carvings representing them. Although seemingly made of bronze, its body is amazingly soft. The discus its body comes out of, however, is quite hard. Hmm? What are you squeezing her for? Uh, puppet developed by Okazaki Ko as an all-purpose helper, designed after one of the Okazaki Ko's employees. Uh, who else did I find? I don't remember reading Yuga Magan, but... No, 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 not you guys. Said to kidnap lost people and freeze them to death. No. No, not you, not you, not you. I don't even remember what I caught today. Endemic to Mount Moon, this puppet is thought to have arrived on a meteor known to have incredible swordsmanship. This puppet is thought to have arrived on the meteor since the arrival of the local peaches have been eaten to extinction. Often confused with Udongis, they seem to share the same history, both living near the craters on Mount Moon. Okay. Uh. I'm, I'm drawing a blank. Living near human settlements, they like to preach to those they see. Of course, since they can't speak, their preaching is only gibberish. Kokoro? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. Jeez. After many scandals, it has been outlawed to leave a Mioi alone with children. Mioi's don't know about <laughs> legal drinking age. <laughs> Taru. <laughs> I got everyone from 18. Kirisame. Personal notes. Resurrected from a fossil, ancient form of Marissa displays behavior similar to the aforementioned puppet. So normally the PC-98 out, uh, are outfit swaps, but now they're their own puppets, as they were in original uh, puppet mon games. Personal notes, Apex Puppet found in the Seafoam Island, strangely soothing, difficult to look at. Okay. Well, we haven't even looked at what our, our captures in, like, God knows how long. What was the last capture we looked at, chat? Was it Joshka? Oh. Huh. What? Oh. Huh? Oh, is that the one that I bribed? I think it is. Sound ease, boys. Ease. Wow. Wow. 
Booger, there's Booger. There she is. This isn't the one that I bribed. This is the one that I bribed. <laughs> Forgot I called her Booger. Wow, Yiko. Nope. Hey, wow, that's pretty good. Too bad you're stuck as your... I mean, you can reincarnate. It's no big deal. That's a pretty good spread, though. Uh, that's not great for you. Wow, uh, that's almost pretty solid. Or maybe it's actually fine, given your... I don't know. Poor die. Nope. Nope. Dad! Uh, actually pretty good, considering what she can become. Nope. <laughs> It's almost like the speed almost doesn't matter because of her ability. It's a lot of A's. It's pretty good. Nope. Uh uh. Uh, no. That's pretty okay. It's okay. It's solid ish. That's actually really. Like, that's, that's, that's pretty much perfect. That's, that's pretty much a perfect orange. Right there. This is, what else can I say? Nope. Not bad. As long as it has a physical attacking variant. Terrible. 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 Uh, mediocre. Terrible. Okay. Nope. Uh-uh. Ew. Electric poison. My god only hits two to five times. 40 power. Well, I mean... Yuck. Okay. Nope. Uh-uh. Nah. It's okay. It's not that good. That's not that good. That might be okay if, uh, with the special defensive one. That's probably decent. It's okay. That's alright. It's not that great. No. Nope. Uh-uh. Not a... Nope. -y. Not a chance. Ah, uh, actually... Not the worst thing in the world. Oh, pretty good. That is pretty good. Big defenses. Dude, this thing is fucking chunky. Oh, okay. So she has foul play and... It's just both foul plays. Replicates Realm Serenity. That's pretty interesting. Illusion Nether. Hmm. That's not bad. That's not great. That's not good. Uh, fuck you. <laughs> Strange Rainbow. Yeah. It's pretty good. That's uh, okay. Alright. Hey, the Apex puppets are good. Who would have thought? They're legendaries. Alright, chat. We did it. We made brilliant progress today. Streamer is winner. Streamer always winner. Streamer's POV. We straight winning. So, next time. Uh, islands. Fun. Fun in the sun. Fun in the islands. That's always good. I wonder how that will go.